You are taking acting classes, correct? You said every Thursday you're going to acting class? Every Thursday. I mean, obviously, I won't be in class uh, this Thursday because I'm out um, doing press for the show. But I do, it's something I take seriously. I, I, I also do private coaching once or twice when I have an audition. Um, great agents. And yeah, I'm just definitely pushing for that. That's definitely the next chapter that I plan on, um, you know, killing it in. Has WWE helped you in any of these entities acting or anything that you're doing now to what you want to be doing? I'm sorry, can you say that one more time? Has WWE helped you, being a part of that, helped you in any way in doing any of the entities that you're doing, whether it be acting or something else? Oh my gosh, I feel like, you know, WWE, I feel like if you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. Uh, just like the challenge where there's so much of having like the mental stability, I feel like WWE gave me that. And I feel like without WWE, I don't know, I mean, I'm a very strong and resilient person, but I feel like it's giving me the tools to take and, you know, to move to the next level. Even with the challenge, it's taught me, in a sense, I never really played the game in WWE, if I'm being honest. It just wasn't my thing. But I noticed that, you know, for once, when I got on the challenge, I'm like, you know what? Let me just play a little bit of this game. And, it, and, it's, and it's crazy because, it's, it, I mean, at the end of the day, it's all a game. And it's all about having, like, the mental stability and knowing how to play your cards right. So I definitely will say that I'm very appreciative my time in WWE because it's taught me so much and it's taught me to be a very strong person because with the fans, with things that they have to say and, you know, being told this and that and being pulled and tugged in so many ways, it's definitely taught me to be super grounded and, you know, have my mind and my focus just spot on. And that's interesting you mentioned that because you were a part of WWE's Total Divas on E! Entertainment Television. And that was interesting because you had cameras around you all the time, not only obviously doing the wrestling, but also your personal life. What was that experience like for you? I mean, personally, um, I don't know if reality television is my thing per se. You know, there's always, there's a lot of drama and that's not, that's not really, that's not really me. And I feel like without saying too much, because again, I'm still very, you know, fortunate and appreciative of the opportunity, like Vince hand chose me as one of the main cast members to begin with, so I do definitely feel very blessed in that sense, but I feel like people didn't really get a chance to see Ariane, if that makes sense. I feel like they still saw a lot of Cameron and not what Ariane brought to the table. So, no. you know, it definitely was a, a cool experience, but if I were to ever do reality TV in that realm, it's like I would definitely have more say so what I want to do and what I don't want to do. No, Ariane, that makes perfect sense because the things that you're doing in helping others and creating that type of atmosphere and acting in these different types of competitions is different from the reality side of television that we see because it is a lot of drama. It is. And I mean, I think, I mean, not think, the only reason why I decided to do the challenge, even though it's reality-based, it was because I was competing for charity. And since it, that's, that's, if there was no charity involved, then I wouldn't have been a part of it. So um, that's just kind of like where I stand with the whole reality TV world. Reality TV can put you in a box, and I feel like I bring more to the table than just being typecast or put into one thing saying, okay, this is just what she is. She's a reality TV person. It's like, no, I'm a sports entertainer, and I'm a Jill of all trades, and I can do, you know, I'm a philanthropist, but I'm also an actress, but I'm also a host. You know what I mean? I'm an, I'm an entertainer, so I'm not just a reality TV person. Ariane Andrew, yeah, go do it. You're doing it. All right, we're going to wrap this up. It's interesting. When you were in WWE, what was the, I guess, what were some of the highlights for you? What were some of the fun times whether it was going to a certain place traveling, because you guys travel so much, whether it was a big event, whether it was being a part of the Funkadactyls, dancing, what for you were just like a, a couple of things that really stood out for you that were like, wow, this is really cool? I mean, I will definitely say that, you know, my debut with Naomi and Brodus was, was huge. I was only in FCW for maybe the max of three months to be put in that position to go live on television with no dance experience, to me, that was that was definitely a highlight to be able to, people, that's what people dream of. Everyone who now, which is NXT, um, you know, now that's what people dream of.
dream of being on the big stage. So for me, even though I didn't sign up to be a dancer, I signed up to, you know, be in the ring and 